Good morning, Trinity Lutheran Christian School families, Trinity Lutheran Church families, and anyone else watching online. My name is Dave Merritt. I'm the Youth and Family Ministries Director here at Trinity Lutheran, and I hope you're having an awesome day. Our title of today's devotion is Love and Thankfulness. And it comes from, or excuse me, the text comes from Acts. Now many signs and wonders were regular, regularly done among the people by the hands of the apostles. And they were all together in Solomon's portico. None of the rest dared join them, but the people held them in high esteem. And more than ever, believers were added to the Lord, multitudes of both men and women, so that they even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats. That as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. That must have really been something to see, that the people of Jerusalem even carried out the sick into the streets and laid them on cots and mats. That as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. They wanted miracles, and they were confident Peter could give them some. It was enough to give anybody a swelled head. Anybody, except for Peter, I suspect. Peter had a kind of protection against ego trips. He could never forget what he had done just weeks ago when Jesus was on trial for his life. Peter was so scared that he denied Jesus, even cursing and swearing he didn't know him. And when Jesus turned and looked at Peter, Peter broke down and cried. It was a fall Peter would never forget. But neither could he forget Jesus' love. After Jesus rose from the dead, practically the first thing he did was go to Peter for a private conversation, the content of which was never recorded in the Bible. We can only guess what happened. But afterwards, we see Peter behaving like a man struck to the heart with love and thankfulness. Jesus forgave him and gave him back his place of service as an apostle. And Peter carried that out as faithfully as he could. He knew where the real honor and glory belonged, with Jesus who forgives and saves and heals. We too sometimes face the, temp to the temptation to take credit for God's work. People may praise us for something we know very well is God's doing. Even if he used to help, uh, help carry it out, and the devil tempts us to take the credit. To behave, to behave as if we ourselves had done it from start to finish. To bask in the spotlight and say mock humble things to keep the praise coming just a little longer. What can, we, what can protect us against this? Only Jesus he knows what to do with glory. The same thing he did through his whole ministry. He gives it to the Father. And his Holy Spirit living in us can help us do the same thing. If we need our egos punctured, he can remind us of our weaknesses. But far more important, he reminds us of Jesus' love. Of the incredible warmth and compassion he showed us when he laid down his life to save us and make us God's own. If we're loved like that, who needs an ego boost? Powerful words, and yet words that kind of knock on our heads a little bit, kind of wake us up. So a couple of questions right now. Again, if you want to get out a pad of paper and write these down, or if you want to um, just write down these and share them with people around you, you may do so. I'll give you a chance to pause the video right now and do that. All right. Glad to see you are ready to go. We have three questions. Uh, the first reflection question, do you find it easy or difficult to know how to answer when people praise you? Hmm. <laughs> That's something. Number two, would you rather be loved or honored? And number three, if Jesus appeared visibly and called you by name, how hard would it be to drop everything, including earthly honor and power, and run to him. Again, if you need to pause the video and discuss, uh, please do so. And when you're finished, join us again. Again, glad to see you are back. 
I'm going to answer number one today. Number one says, do you find it easy or difficult to know how to answer when people praise you? It's funny. People who know me now realize that this guy, Dave Merritt, has no shame. We'll laugh. We'll talk. We'll get in front of any camera, uh, whether it be two people, whether it be a million people. I have no shame in the game. But when I was a kid, I hated applause. I got so nervous. Um, I won a contest one time for dressing as the Tin Man, and when people were, were applauding me, I literally ran out of the room crying. And now, I love speaking to people. I love you know, listening and again, t taking that praise. But I sometimes need to be humbled and realize that it's not me. It's God doing the work. And so that when I was reading over this devotion today, it kind of struck me that it's not about Dave Merritt. It's not about you guys. It's about Jesus Christ giving us those gifts and those abilities. So yeah, I need a good punch in the gut every once in a while. I need a good ego crush realizing that Again, it's the gifts that God has given me and the gifts that God has given you to continue the great work in his ministry. So as we kind of humble ourselves right now, after we've answered those questions, we're going to pray to him. Would you please join me in prayer? Father God, we thank you once again for dying on the cross, for saving us. Lord, for giving us gifts and giving us abilities. But again, humble us realizing it's not all about me and it's not all about the people watching, but it's about you who gives us those gifts to use. Allow us to give you the credit. Lord, we just bask in your glory as you realize there was so much sin, there was so much corruption, there was so much egotism going on, crazy stuff going on, and you came down in human form you died on the cross for each and every one of us. You defeated sin, death, and the devil, and rose again that we could be free from sin. To bask in your glory. Allow us to humble ourselves, Lord, and to get to give you the praise, the honor, the glory, and the adoration. Bless our day, Lord. Keep us safe and allow us, as we hear this message today, to humble ourselves and to share your message, but give you the praise and honor and glory. Through Christ our Savior's name we pray. Amen. My friends, have a great week and a blessed week in the Lord.